With the Resident Evil 4 remake being so well received by returning fans of the series and new fans alike, it has many people wondering, what's next for Resident Evil? What's up everybody, this is Mick Stan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the possibilities of the next Resident Evil games in the future. But before we get into it, I have to ask you to please hit that like button. For this video, let's try to reach a goal of 30 likes and maybe consider subscribing if you're a huge Resident Evil fan like myself and join the McNugget army today. Now with all that out of the way, let's get straight into it. So I'm sure most of you are aware of the trend that's happening with video games right now where many developers are remaking some of their classic titles with a modern twist. And really Resident Evil is the game that started the whole remake trend with the Resident Evil 2 remake. Now with this being said, we've had a few remakes already with Resident Evil and they have all been pretty successful. So I don't see Resident Evil 4 remake being the final remake of the Resident Evil series. With that being said, let's talk about how Resident Evil 4 Remake ended. So at the end of the Resident Evil 4 Remake, we get to see a cutscene of Ada Wong having a conversation with Albert Wesker. During this conversation, Wesker is giving Ada a order to deliver the parasite to him, and he tells her his plans with the parasite. Basically, he wants to unleash a huge virus across the world that will likely kill billions of people. Now, Ada Wong is not cool with this idea, and she doesn't want that many people to die. So she betrays Wesker at the end, but the whole setup for this little cutscene is to set up Resident Evil 5. Now it's not a big deal that they set up Resident Evil 5 at the end of the Resident Evil 4 remake, simply because we know RE5 takes place after RE4, and this is just a neat little way of them tying the two games into each other, right? but it does leave a lot of people wanting a Resident Evil 5 remake. So the first possibility of a remake that we're gonna talk about is the Resident Evil 5 remake. So RE5 is the obvious choice to remake when it comes to Resident Evil games, simply because they set it up at the end of RE4, and the fact that we saw a new voice actor for Wesker, a new design for Wesker, and to only have him show up at the end tells me that they want to use Wesker. And they probably have some plans for him. Now, if they are going to remake Resident Evil 5, I do believe the game will be very different than the original Resident Evil 5. Simply because their original vision for Resident Evil 5 was much different than the game that we actually got, and this was due to backlash. I'm not really going to get into it, but if you guys want to hear more about it, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely make a video on it. But the number one thing I want to say is I do believe that the Resident Evil 5 remake will be a single player game if in fact this is the game they want to remake. Now moving on from Resident Evil 5, what else could we see when it comes to Resident Evil games? And we're going to continue with the remakes. So of course we got to talk about Resident Evil Code Veronica. This is actually a high possibility of a game being remade simply because so many people want it and it seems like Capcom is in a giving mood right now and they're giving the fans what they want. So many people actually wanted Code Veronica remade instead of Resident Evil 4 simply because this game takes place before RE4 takes place and it actually would have made more sense to make this game first but Capcom probably remade Resident Evil 4 because, you know, the shock value, everybody loves RE4, it's one of the greatest games ever created, so of course they had to remake that one first. But in my opinion, if you're gonna remake another Resident Evil game, Code Veronica should be high up in the discussion, and I really do hope that Capcom is entertaining the idea of a Code Veronica remake because it's a fan favorite. Many people want it remade, including myself. Now with that being said, this game came out during a time where many things were acceptable that just are not today, 
and I feel like if it was to be remade the way it is right now, it would offend so many people, especially with some of the insensitive jokes they have in this game about the main villain of the game. So I think that Capcom would definitely have to rethink what they are doing with the Code Veronica remake if they were going to make it. So uh, the game would probably be very different than what we know from the original, but that's not a bad thing. It's a very old game and it definitely needs a remake, so I definitely would love to see it. Now moving on, there is only one other probable remake and that is the original Resident Evil. So this one is kind of a no-brainer. This is the first game of the series, so why not remake it? They started with Resident Evil 2 and have made their way up to Resident Evil 4. I think it's about time to turn back the clock and remake either this or Code Veronica. Simply because there are so many new fans of the series that have not experienced these older Resident Evil titles and I, I've talked to you guys through my comments and through Discord and other platforms like that where you guys really like Resident Evil, but you have no way to play these older Resident Evil titles. And I think it just would be very beneficial to newer fans of the series to be able to play a game like Resident Evil 1, but updated with modern graphics and modern gameplay. Now with all this being said, of course, Resident Evil 1 has been updated or remade in the past. But also, that game is still a pretty old game. It's not a modern title. So I think it would actually be very beneficial to get the remake of Resident Evil 1 for the second time in the same style of these newer remakes. So the next and final game I want to talk about is none other than Resident Evil 9. Now of course we all knew this was coming and it has been leaked and there are many rumors regarding this game but nothing is concrete about it. But Resident Evil 9 is a game that should take place after Village and from the rumors and the leaks that we have seen or heard they're going to have some of the original characters, if not all of the original characters, returning for this game. That includes Leon, Chris, Claire, and Jill. Some of the other leaks are saying that this game could be the final story for the original characters of Resident Evil. So basically, this game is supposed to be what Resident Evil 6 wanted to be. It's supposed to wrap up the story for all of these characters, but do it the right way. Now, of course these are all leaks, so take it with a grain of salt, but we're going to go over a few of the leaks. Starting with that this game is supposed to be a huge open world like kind of game. Now, it hasn't been confirmed, like I said, these are leaks, but the game is going to be huge. You're going to be able to rescue survivors, and some of these survivors will actually be camouflaged enemies pretending to be friendly characters. So that's something brand new to the Resident Evil series. Also, there are going to be many supernatural elements in this game like Wendigo and other uh, mythological beasts in this game. So it's definitely going to be a very ambitious title from what these leaks are. Are saying now of course like I said they're leaks they're not proven they're not confirmed so take it all with a grain of salt so Resident Evil 9 is definitely a very likely game that we will see in the future now with all this being said this is the part of the video where you guys come in and you sound off in the comment section below and let me know what game do you want to see the most do you want to see a remake do you want to see a continuation of the Resident Evil story or do you want to see something entirely different like a multiplayer game? Let me know in the comment section, I would love to hear it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.